Hi, this is James Cook of the University of Maine at Augusta, and I'm recording this video for students of mine who uh, use the statistical program R and R Studio in order to uh, run analysis, generate uh, visualizations of data, grab data from the internet, and so on. So one problem that can happen from time to time is that you'll find, seemingly inexplicably, that uh, a script that ran before and worked before is no longer working. There are a few things that you can do to resolve that problem. Now, the first should be that you should take a close look at your script. Perhaps you accidentally placed a space in there or your cat walked across your keyboard. That can happen, it does, or a child can come up and play with it. But once you've resolved that, there are a few things that you can do. One is to update a site of packages, and this is in RStudio. That's under Tools, check for package updates. And then you could select all and you could install those updates. So that can help make sure that everything's up to date and that your packages uh, interact well with one another. Something else you can do is that you can uh, clean your environment up. One thing that's true, especially if you're running multiple scripts, is that um, this environment here, which features names of variables, well, it can have a problem. If your programs, different scripts, have references to the same variables, and those variables have been defined in one script, in another script, they may mean something altogether different, and yet you've already set up that variable, which means that you could have trouble. So to clean up that environment, you'd simply hit the, <coughs> the broom under environment, this broom icon here. Uh, something else you can do uh, simply to take care of that problem is to exit out of our studio to get a cleaner environment and then restart R and R studio. Uh, and if you had any small problems that build up over time when you run any program for a long amount of time, those will tend to go away. Uh, you can also, to get a really, really uh, much cleaner environment, you can restart your whole computer. If you have, have had your computer on for weeks, uh, it may be uh, that other programs are now conflicting with R and R Studio. So restarting your computer helps. Um, also, if you have a really old version computer, uh, you can have a problem of running out of memory. That can happen because you have too many plots. So if you have too many plots, you can clear them, again here with a broom. You might want to close different scripts in the script window. I have only one open, but you might want to close some others. And you might want to close some other programs. I mean, this is a typical picture of the set of tabs that I have open on my web browser. Each one of them is taking up memory. And if you have too much memory taken up by other programs, R just may not run. It may run into an error that is based on memory. Finally, one thing you may want to do, <coughs> excuse me, is to update your version of R and R Studio to the most recent versions. Um, and unfortunately, R and R Studio don't have a, a simple, obvious way to do that. But um, you can uh, uninstall these programs, and then you can download them for free uh, from the internet all over again. And as long as you've made sure that you've saved your scripts, um, that won't be a problem. So to do that in Windows, you'd simply hit Window, uh, the, the Window button, uh, also called the Start button, and you would type Uninstall. And you'd find the option Change or Remove a Program. And then you would pick your, uh, your program, and you'd look alphabetically for R and R Studio. You'll notice I have 3.3.3. Perhaps I want to uh, update to the most recent version. So uh, first I would close my program, and then I would literally just click Uninstall. And it, it sounds scary, 
but it it really isn't that uh, bad. Um, it will take the program out, and then it'll allow you to restart and re, re reinstall your program all afresh. Uh, often, when R updates itself, uh, you will start to receive warnings, and usually the warnings are at first not causing major problems, but if you wait to update R too long, uh, you can have uh, big problems. And so then it'll tell you it was successfully uninstalled. I'm going to uninstall R Studio. And in the meantime, while that's working on that, I'm going to go back to rproject.org. And I'm going to look up R Studio at rstudio.com. And I'm going to download them all over again. To take R Studio, I want to download R Studio Desktop. They always make you click through a few because they'd really like you to do the paid version, but you can do the free version. And I'll download that for my uh, computer, just like I did the first time I installed it. And I'll do the same for R, the R project. And of course, you always want to install R before you install R Studio because R Studio goes on top of R. And so I'll pick a, a mirror and I'll download R for Windows. And there it is. And this is something to do if you end up having some really um, continual problems with R. You'll notice it's taking a few minutes, um, not too many, but um, really uh, sometimes any program on your computer uh, can have a corrupted file or something wrong with it that leads to uh, difficulties. Then you'd simply click on these exe files to reinstall and you'd restart R and hopefully you'd end up with a, a new fresh version that works. So try these step-by-step uh, -step escalating solutions for a problem and many times that will take care of the problem.